the face where Chris goes says and that's how I feel. So we are back with another video. This is my pre-wash deep condition and the install video to the crochet faux locks. So this is what I'm doing to deep condition my hair. I take I took avocado, honey, and olive oil to do a deep condition. I add a little bit of a mask treatment, like literally a spoon, two spoons full of a mask treatment, deep conditioning mask treatment to um, bring all these together. And I blended it all in a blender and I applied it to my hair. This has been on my hair for at least 45 minutes. I um, follow, normally follow the instructions. The instruction for the deep conditioning mask said 30 minutes, but being that I know that my hair takes a little bit longer to seep in, I let it sit longer. So I'm gonna wash this out and I will be back. Before I wash this out, I wanna make sure that I give you guys an explanation as to why I'm doing this before I install my faux locks. So I, let this sit on my hair for about 45 minutes. Prior to me doing this faux lock crochet style, I had my hair in a protective style for a month and two weeks or a month and a week. It is very, very, very important that in between your protective styles, you are doing deep conditions, co-washes, shampoos, conditioners, whatever protein treatments that you can do to keep moisture within your hair. You want to make sure that you are still taking care of your hair, even though you're doing these protective styles. So in between the protective styles, you do need to wash your hair, condition your hair, treat your hair, you know, show your hair some Tim Love and Care or TLC in between these styles to make sure that your hair is growing healthy and it is staying moisturized. The key to retention, the key to growth, hair growth is keeping your hair oiled and moisturize so oh and clean your hair does grow also dirty but if your hair is dirty quote-unquote and moisturized it still will grow moisturization of the follicles your hair <laughs> is truly key so before I do any protective style I always do deep condition I may do a pre shampoo a shampoo depending on the style variety that if I have a lot of buildup this style, I didn't have a lot of buildup because literally all I did was wash my hair and then put it into those faux locks for a month and a half. And then I just took them out. So I didn't have any buildup or anything in my hair. I just did a simple um, rinse with, with uh, hot water or warm water and then put this deep conditioning in. But if you do need to shampoo your hair, shampoo your hair. Your hair needs to be clean for it to grow. It needs to be able to, you know, get the nice, good... Um, you know oils that your your normal you know hair already creates now you don't want to strip your hair so make sure you have the correct products that you're using so your hair is not stripped if you do use a shampoo that strips your hair then please go in with a high high moisturizing um maybe water-based um conditioner that will give you back that moisture that you have or just please make sure you go back with a deep conditioner no matter what you do go in a deep conditioner because if you just do a shampoo without deep conditioning i don't know sis <laughs> you need to deep condition it's very important for hair growth to deep condition you need to make sure that whatever you're doing is your it's like hair food like when you have a plant you give it hair fertilizer deep conditioning is like hair fertilization Okay, basically the products that you're using is, is you're really giving it the opportunity to really seep in to your scalp, your hair, and really get into the shaft of the hair compared to you just washing your hair when you put a product on for five minutes and take it off. No, this is sitting on your hair, sitting on your hair. So yeah, I just want to make sure I said that. Now we're going to rinse it out. Okay, so this is my hair after it has been washed. Out, y'all look at this. Yes, come through, fall, come through. No, <laughs> but seriously, okay, this is my hair after the wash. So now, what I'm gonna do is braid my hair to prep my hair for my faux lock style. However, that will be the next video that I do. I wanted to just show you guys what I do to prep my prep my hair for my protective style. My next video that you will see, if you start you know, to go through my videos, is me actually doing the preparations for my faux locks. 
and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just go ahead and braid my hair and start to preparation um, for my full locks. So this is basically what I do. No matter what percent of style I do, I always wash my hair, deep condition my hair, and condition my hair. Um, and I always use a real food with my deep conditioner. Like I always use like a egg or banana or avocado or just some type of food, real food with my deep conditioner. And just so you know, this is the deep conditioning mask that I am using. I already did a video on that, which I will show you guys both in the cards and down below in the, in the description box. But I use, like I said, two spoons, a spoon and a half or two spoons of this um, with the mask that I created. And yeah, this is how my hair is now. And I just, um, I, I can just, I can tell my hair is growing. If you have gone through my channel and watched my other videos, then you will also notice, like, look at this. Like, you will notice that my hair has gotten thicker and it's definitely grown from what I'm doing. So I'm gonna continue doing my rice work, I'm gonna continue doing my um my soul free and do grow. And if you haven't seen those videos, check those out. And I thank you for watching this video today. If you want to give me some advice on things I can do to add to my um my my pre um pre protective style routine, then let me know. And I hope this guys helped you out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings. Later.